Do you feel paralyzed by life's crushing blows? Or do you feel let down and drained because nothing seems to be working? Well, I bring you a message of hope from this video. Please watch it and be blessed. Also, don't forget to share it with all your friends who need to hear it and let us hear your feedback in the comment section. Listen, life's journey often presents you with challenges that seem insurmountable, leaving you feeling hopeless and discouraged. However, you are called to hold on to your faith even in the darkest of times. The book of Colossians chapter 1 and verse 27 says, To them God willed to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Remember, with God, nothing is impossible and He has a purpose for every trial we face. May these words bring comfort, strength and renewed hope to your heart. What are the eight practical steps you can take when all hope seems lost? Number 1. When hope dwindles, turn to the source of hope himself. Take time each day to seek God in prayer, pouring out your heart before Him. The psalmist said in the book of Psalms chapter 1 to 1 and verse 1, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. In the depths of despair, meditate on His promises in Scripture, allowing His words to penetrate your soul. By saturating your mind and spirit with God's truth, you will find comfort guidance and renewed hope. Number 2. Surround yourself with a supportive Christian community. During times of hopelessness, it is crucial to surround yourself with fellow believers who can provide support, encouragement and prayer. Connect with your local church or small group sharing your struggles and allowing others to come alongside you. Through their love and compassion, you will experience a tangible presence of Christ, reminding you that you are not alone in your journey. Together, you can bear one another's burdens finding strength and renewed hope as you walk this path together. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 9 and 10 says, Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, one will lift his companion. But woe to him who is alone when he falls for he has no one to help him up. Number 3. Practice gratitude and count your blessings. When hope is gone, it can be easy to focus on the negative aspects of life. However, cultivating an attitude of gratitude can transform your perspective. Take time each day to reflect on the blessings that still surround you. No matter how small they may seem, express your gratitude to God for His faithfulness, provision, and the love He continues to pour into your life. Gratitude shifts your focus from despair to hope, reminding you of the countless reasons to keep trusting in God's plan. Number 4. Embrace Worship and Praise Lifestyle Amid helplessness, worship has the power to uplift and renew your spirit. Engage in heartfelt praise and worship, whether it be through singing, 
playing an instrument or simply listening to worship music. As you enter God's presence with a heart of worship, the burdens weighing you down will be lifted and your perspective will shift from despair to hope. Remember, worship is not limited to a specific place or time. It is a lifestyle. Embrace the power of worship and allow it to bring you closer to the hope that is found in Christ. Number 5. Surrender and Trust in God's Timing In moments of hopelessness, it is essential to surrender our circumstances and trust in God's perfect timing. Remember that God sees the bigger picture, even when you cannot. Let go of the need to control and instead place your trust in the one who holds all things together. Surrender your fears, doubts, and anxieties and entrust them into God's loving hands. Though His timing may not align with ours, we can be rest assured that His plans are good and He will work all things together for your ultimate good and His glory. Number 6. Joy Joy is a powerful weapon to dislodge helplessness. The book of Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10 says, Do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. You will observe that a person whose joy is gone loses hope automatically. They lack the willpower to do anything worthwhile. So keep guarding your joy every day to have your hope renewed. Number 7. Seek professional help and counseling. There will be times when hopelessness is accompanied by emotional or mental struggles that require professional help. It is essential to recognize when seeking counseling or therapy is necessary. Reach out to a trusted Christian counselor who can provide guidance, support, and practical tools to help you navigate through your challenges. Remember, seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. God works through professionals to bring healing and restoration to our lives, and they can play a vital role in helping you regain hope and find a path forward. Number 8. Hold on to the promises of God When all hope is gone, anchor your soul to the unchanging promises of God. Remind yourself of His faithfulness in the past and the promises He has spoken over your life. God's Word declares that He will never leave you nor forsake you. Cling to these promises allowing them to become the foundation upon which you stand. Even during the storm, God is with you, working behind the scenes to bring about a brighter future. Trust that His plans for you are good, and as you hold on to His promises, hope will be restored. In His promises, you will find an unshakable hope that can carry you through any storm, leading you to a place of abundant life and eternal joy. So, don't lose hope, for God is with you. And make sure you put your trust in Him and also meditate on His Word daily. God bless you.